Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's the No Level Cap Podcast. This week, we're planning out the perfect Switch 2 launch year. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the No Level Cap Podcast. It is your host, Sage Ashford, with my friends Rakeem Beck, Terrence Flowers, Will Coleman, and Devin Butts. Uh, with the launch of the Switch 2 on the way, we're probably, I'm going to say nine months out, but we could be a year and a half out. It just depends on how it all like goes down. Uh, I just figured we thought we'd have a little fun this week, discuss what we think would be the perfect Switch 2 launch lineup. Here's how it's going to work. Uh, each of us will get two games to pick that we'd like to see occupy the Switch successor launch lineup. Uh, these are not necessary. These are definitely not predictions, although one of mine is in a way. But like mm -hmm. they're really just things we'd like to see and probably a little a little bit of things we think should be there. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Terrence, what's your first pick, bro? Well, since you picked me first, I might as well go ahead and set the tone. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> They just revealed it or they revealed like actual gameplay of it. So we know it exists now. We know it's coming in 2025. So Metroid Prime 4. I, Ooh. you know, I kind of figured that it was probably, if it wasn't going to be just a Switch game, it would be a cross gen game where it'd be on the Switch and it would be on the Switch 2. Probably a case where um, the Switch 2 version will obviously look better and it will run better. Um, kind of. Nintendo's always been pretty good about having like a cross-gen type of game, but it's usually been like a Zelda game. Like ever since, really, I think the transition from like the GameCube to the Wii, it's always been a Zelda game that's been the one that's been like cross-gen. In the case of like GameCube to Wii, you had Twilight Princess, uh, Wii to Wii U. That was kind of weird because I think they technically had one, but it we, the Wii U was a weird console. <laughs> And then when Very it went so. from like Wii U to uh, Switch, of course, you had Breath of the Wild. So, yeah, I think that Metro Prime 4 is going to be that type of game where um, it's going to be the one that bridges the gap between the generations. And it's going to show you the difference in power between the two consoles, like the experience that you have on the Switch, like the regular Switch for Metroid Prime 4 is going to be different from that that you get on the Switch 2. So I think that it's a no brainer that that's going to be part of the launch lineup for the Switch 2. Uh, well, one thing I want to say uh, before anybody gets it in their heads, uh, not necessarily y'all, but like viewers, um, what we saw, apparently they people like the people like Digital Foundry, the people that dig into that, they were like, nothing you saw couldn't be done on the Switch. So it's not like they tried to stealth show us a Switch 2 video game and like, oh, you think it, it looks really good, but it actually it's running on Switch 2. Nah, it could just run on Switch 1. And so they're like, I agree with Terrence. If it is cross gen, the version that we saw, we won't see that version on Switch 2. It'll be a better looking version that probably does some extra things and, and is just more impressive as a game. Yeah, what we I saw, yeah, too, that, yeah, that very much yeah. looked like a Switch game. Yeah. Because it, it looked yeah. just like, it looked like the visuals from Metro Prime Remastered. That's yeah. really what it looked like. They yeah. Were using. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looked a little improved, but I, I agree for the most part. Will, mm -hmm. what's your first pick, bro? Uh, okay, so when I think of launch titles, I usually think of something that's liable to be somewhat of a tech demo, but it is a full game mm -hmm. in a way to kind of showcase the power of the system on its release. And I had like three or four in mind, but this is the one I'm going to go with because it hasn't necessarily been a launch title in a minute. Pilot Wings. Mm. Ooh. And I, because I, I look back and I seen that it did pop up on like the Super Nintendo and it popped up on the N64 as one of them. So I'm just like, this wouldn't be a bad thing to bring back to kind of showcase the power of the Switch 2. Because I mean, yes, it's maybe just flying planes and doing little missions across the way. But I think that'd be a nice way to kind of show off some effects that you could have on the system. For something that's kind of more grounded based. I'm not going to say for nothing, no high fantasy or anything like that, but for a more grounded game, I think that'd be really good to show what you can do in terms of like effects with like the ground, air, the sea, the plane itself, landing mechanics, all of that. I think that would be a nice little, little touch to have for the Switch too. Just throw pilot wings out there. 
I, I like that. That's that's I we didn't, the last pilot wings I remember was sixty four. Was there one after that? There was one on the three DS. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool to have come back. Like that's just a classic franchise. Um. Mm. <clears throat> so when I did mine, I did two. Uh, the other three, like if somebody picks one of mine, which is unlikely because I'm going next, and this would be the one that somebody would pick, uh, because I'm I'm smart like that. Uh, in fact, I was crossing my fingers. I was like, please, please say. I was like, Will, please don't say this one. Um, but I, I did uh put a lot of work into these two, and so when you picture this, picture it like you were watching a Nintendo Direct, and you know the guy, the voice that comes on. And he has the he he like gives like like a little tagline, and think think of that voice oh, and yeah. the tagline is a lost legend returns, hmm. and so as the trailer opens, you get a shot of the R wing flying in midair, yeah. and it's clearly Star Fox sixty four <laughs> style until it flies across the screen, and we get a look yeah. at a redesigned R wing in glorious yeah. Switch two graphics. Mm -hmm. This new Star Fox would be closer to Star Fox Adventures. Rather than another Star Fox 64 clone, we can't have one no more of those. Oh, I'm really? sorry. The next, if we get another Star Fox 64 clone, that, I'm that franchise deserves to be dead. I'm sorry because they don't care. But like this would be like you'd start out on a lost on an alien planet after a mission gone wrong. Your R wing is trashed. You need to find the parts to repair it. This would introduce the on foot missions where you're battling against old and new enemies outside of the ship while also collecting parts to fix your ship. But your ship isn't messed up the whole game. It's only messed up for one stage. By the end of the first stage, you fixed it. You hop in the plane for, like, some glorious flying action because that's the core of Star Fox, and you don't want to forget that. But you do want to introduce the idea of, like, okay, there's more to this than just I'm in the R-Wing the whole time. Mm -hmm. From then on, you start finding your allies again. You find Falco. You find Slippy. You find Peppy because you start out by yourself. You have nobody, no help, just like a pistol and, like, just exploring the world. And each time you find a new ally, they team up with you. You take on new challenges while you fix their ships. You gain new vehicles, including, like, a giant robot, because I just think that Star Fox should have a giant robot. And you even gain, like, new weapons for the R-Wing and shit like that. On the side, you'll be able to control, you should be able to control your ship, uh, customize it how you want it, add whatever weapons, take away whatever weapons. I just feel like this, this franchise has to come back, but it needs to come back overhauled. Like, if it's improved... Star Fox 64, I, I, I'm, I'm out. And I don't even want to. I would be out to the point that when people bring it up, I'd be like, don't bring that bullshit up around me. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I don't want another on-rail Star Fox. Even if it's not a redo of Star Fox 64, if it's just a, a bunch of on-rails flying missions, like, hey, man, this is the best y'all got in, in 2024. Like, I'm trying to give you a boxed product that you could sell for 70 because, I mean, I know that's where the prices are going. I'm trying to yeah. give you something where you know you can sell it for 70. I don't want because like anything else, like if you just basically try to overhaul Star Fox, but it's just flying on foot, like that shit got to be forty dollars or thirty dollars, like because ain't nobody paying no full seventy dollars for like like a bunch of on rails missions no more. That that time has passed. Uh, Devin, what you got for us? Well, I'm glad you picked that one, Sage, because that that that. that... <laughs> Lessons my list now. I don't have to pick that one because I swear Nintendo, y'all, I don't know what y'all over there doing disrespecting Star Fox. Like that Star Fox Adventures is one of the best games on the GameCube. And they were just like, you know what? We ain't gonna do this no more. We just gonna do rehashes of some garbage that used to be a legend, you know. So I'm glad he picked that one because Nintendo been tripping on that one. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go along the lines of Wheel on this one. This is I I I don't know. It was think the last one was on the GameCube. I don't know why they won't go back to this wave race, man. Like I need, hey, hey, like, hey, please, <laughs> like come on, Nintendo. Like that's that's one of y'all. Sixty four GameCube or well, wave race, I think like Blue Storm, and y'all mm -hmm, just like yeah. no, nah, we we good. I mean, even that intent, like ten eighty. I mean, you could even make these games like a package game, kind of. You could you could kind of put power. So that's what I was gonna say. I would like to see that done in a. Uh, switch sports or yeah. a Riders Republic yeah. style thing where it's a mm -hmm. bunch of sports at once. That would be cool. Yeah. And you, you I mean, get Wave Race in like that. And they they got they got Wave Race. They got Pilot Wings. They got um 1080. So you got the snowboarding. Oh, the wings. Snowboarding. So it's like you got it all right there. 
And, and actually, yeah, can... you could do all three of those. Yeah. And... Yeah. yeah. So we try to get Nintendo just... some money. They need to listen to us. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. They just they have Nintendo. these series. It's like you know what? We got a cool store brand game we can make. Nah, we don't want to do that. We, we got a it. we. It's like like bring Wave Race back, man. Like 1080, 1080 Wave Race at least made it to the GameCube. 1080, I believe. I don't even think it left the 64, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been on 1080. Uh, yeah, on uh 64, I believe. Yeah, it was a 64 game. Yeah, I don't know um, if it made it to the. What? What about 1080? What's it called? 1080 Avalanche? Actually, it yes. might have been one on GameCube. 1080 Avalanche. That was for the GameCube. Yeah. Okay. 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 Look, they, they, they did make it to the GameCube, but man, come on, Nintendo. It's, y'all got to Y'all got some some classics out here. Like we Starfire, all these games like that would sell like hotcake. In my opinion, like if you really like Starfire in the least is like that's a that's one of them top tier titles. That's supposed to be one of your heavy hitters for that console. The the Wave Race games, those are like kind of I would say two like the second tier, not too far from, but those are like some games you put some some nice a little nice budget into it and make it something special. Please regrettably. Nintendo. Nintendo's gotten to a point where the top tier for them is just Mario and Zelda and Pokemon. Yeah. And yeah. they just give you variations on Mario. Like, and, and actually, let's just go. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way and then I'm going to pass it to Rakeem. Uh, 3D Mario obviously should be one of the ones mm-hmm. that that's yeah. a Switch 2 launch game. It's been oh yeah, literally seven years since, uh, what was it, Mario Odyssey? Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, that's, that's one of them. But, like, and so, like, if just consider that to be part of our launch lineup. That they if they throw 3D Mario in there at some point, but like it's weird that they just have Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, and then their their B tier is spinoffs of Mario, Zelda, Pokemon. <laughs> It'd be like, hey man, come get it. It's like, what are we doing? Like, why can't we come up with like, why can't you respect your past a little bit? But go ahead, Ricky. Know, what's your right? first one? Um, actually, my first one was exactly what you just said. <laughs> I was like, it's been seven I years. That was gonna be somebody. <laughs> I think anybody would pick it because none, like, really, none of us really play Mario like that. Yeah, but True. it's been, it's been but, a while since Odyssey. Yeah, so yeah, but but I mean, it's been a while since Odyssey. But all things, you know, b- being equal, when it comes to Nintendo and the heavy hitter, they go back to their boy. When it comes to Nintendo, Mario, you are the father. You are the OG. <laughs> You run that shit. You are their guy. <laughs> and if you're going to bring out this new console, and we just had two back-to-back, we're going to have two back-to-back Zelda projects coming out recently, I think a new Mario project right as a launch title is a, is a no-brainer for me personally. Um, I think um, Mario is always, uh, when it's introduced, always has some new mechanics. I remember the rollout for Odyssey. I remember the trailers for Odyssey, the gameplay demonstrations. How masterful mm-hmm. it was! How cool they brought that out was. That same type of energy needs to happen with this for the for the Switch too. Um, I'm I'm sure they're gonna have some mechanics. I'm not sure exactly what the mechanics are gonna be. Um, the last uh, Super Mario Brothers project had the cool like switching. Um, was it like dimensions or things like project they had? Whatever the freak. Are you talking yeah, about Wonder? Wonder? Are you talking about Wonder? Yes. Yeah, Wonder. yeah. Wonder had like the weird like. Wonder's trip. gimmick was the Wonder Mushroom, yeah. I believe. Right. And yeah. then the stage would just go fucking nuts. Yeah. And it yes. would just stage be some crazy. type of weird shit going on. And then until you found the next Wonder Mushroom, it would just be weird the whole stage. Yeah. Like, I keep, I, I think that kind of energy is still going to permeate in the next Odyssey had like the whole thing with switching the hat and like transforming different things. I expect some kind of new gimmick. But yeah, a new, a new really uh, nice Mario game. Um, that's gonna have a, a cool aesthetic. It's probably gonna look pretty good on on new hardware if it's e- if it's even moderately stronger. Um, so I that's like the one I'm looking forward to, like as far as like the big subject reveal. Because at the end of the day, Mario's their their big their big budget go to guy, and they're gonna put all the ducks in a row for that one. So I think Mario is gonna knock it out of the park. Let me ask you a question because that's that's not a that's closer to a prediction than it is like a this is what I'd like to see. Because that's almost certainly going to happen. Do you think yeah. that's a launch game or a launch year game? I, I'm be honest with you. It's been long enough. That needs to be a launch game. I agree. For yeah. me personally, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. That needs to be a launch. It's game, been so long. Like they they literally haven't done a 3D Mario since Odyssey, and Odyssey was 2017. So like, come on, yeah. we gotta 
get it together. I feel like What's that'd up, be Terrence? the one to really sell the console. Because if you make a new yeah. Mario like look really, really good and people's like, whoa, this is what we can do now on the Switch 2, mm-hmm. that's going to move consoles. So oh, I yeah, think that yeah, would be yeah, the yeah. thing to do is to have that as a launch title. You, you know mm-hmm. what I think is... It, Hear me out on this one. They they did it Uh-oh. once before with the Olympics. I think mm-hmm. it's time for a Sonic and Mario game. <laughs> oh well, that should be happening anyway, actually, because don't they do uh, Monic- Mario and Sonic at the Olympics? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm not talking about Olympics. Olympics. I'm talking about like platformer, like they oh, even oh, crossover, oh, crossover, yeah, crossover. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, that seems it, like a year two type title. Yeah, probably won't be yeah, but there is no. a way to make that work. I, I don't know that. It, Sonic and Mario. Dog I'm not saying eight. it wouldn't be. I'm saying the Nintendo's not going to stray that far from their own design ethos. Yeah. And so, like, to me, the first year has to have, like, a 3D Mario. But I could totally see, like, once they, because, like, once they get their big franchise IPs out of the way, they start doing spinoffs and shit. And a mm-hmm. Mario and Sonic spinoff, I could definitely see them doing that. Yeah. Who do, de- let me ask you this though. Who develops it though? Nintendo or Sega? It better not be Ooh. Sega. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I it better, it better not be Sega. I, Sega, <laughs> Sega, I lo- Sega, I love you, but you hit yeah. other games a lot better than you do your own mascot. Yeah, that's crazy. Say this, Nintendo do that. I'm gonna say this then. Uh that would be a travesty if Sonic, if Nintendo made a better Sega game than Sonic. It, it, they will. That alone would be reason to. Be. They will. Man. Yeah. Look, that alone will. Will Look, not I'm that a huge game. Sonic fan, but Sonic team, for whatever reason, they just cannot get it right. I, I don't know. From, from there's something in the water over there at Sonic game. team where they just can't produce anything better <laughs> than a 7 out of 10 game. I don't no. know. Well, <laughs> what'd you say, Def? From Soft could make a, a better Sonic game now. <laughs> no, we, no, they couldn't. Man. No, they couldn't. <laughs> oh, no, you know why they really? couldn't? Because they give it a stamina bar and ruin the whole fucking thing. So, no, they can't make a better Sonic game. But anybody else, yeah. you're right. Square Enix Tur- good. Just, just use the armor core engine. They'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, You'd be like, why, why is my I Sonic tired you. already? Well, you ran out the stamina bar. The stamina bar. Collect shit more off. rings to build the stamina meter. Yeah, 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 collect more rings, get... build your stamina. Man, cut this shit off. <laughs> those, those are like your I want to go you, fast. You, well, it's those <laughs> your currency to upgrade the stats, get the rings. <laughs> You're right. Frontier stats. didn't do that. Frontier was like an open world. I'm surprised they ain't had no kind of like upgrade mechanic or something like that. They did. It wasn't like the greatest thing ever, but they they did have one. I still gotta play that game. I bought it. I hadn't played it yet. I heard it was up. Uh, Terrence, you thought it was okay, right? As far as the thing is, when you're rating a Sonic game, you have to rate it in the context the of curve. Sonic. So, oh, as a Sonic yeah, game, boy. it's a pretty good Sonic game. As an actual game game, it's mm. like a seven out of ten. So, mm. yeah. Okay. I mean, At least I mean, Sonic and really, Shadow looks good. I mean, that was the last yeah. really, really good Sonic. Game. I don't. How was Sonic mm. Superstars? It was it was it was I it was good for a Sonic game. <laughs> it, it, that game let me down because remember I picked it for my fancy critic, thinking that like That's yeah, true. there ain't no way they're gonna mess this up, and it was like a seven out of ten game, which is not bad, but for you know the sake of a yeah, fantasy, fantasy critic, critic draft, is not great. So you know, yeah. it certainly was yeah. not. Yeah. <sighs> uh, let's go round two. Will yeah. man, what's your second pick? Uh, my second pick, I think, for the Switch two. The thing they should really try to hit us with next, because it's been a minute for him to <laughs> Kid Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just get your best. I'll get what I want. God damn it, Kid <laughs> Icarus. If they put out Kid of... Icarus, uh, a host of of niggas is going to be furious. Fuck them! You know what that means? They they for. What does that mean? They're not I getting. Don't it. Damn, I don't give a damn about what they don't get. Who makes I'm the Kid one Icarus? Buying it, not them. Who makes Kid Icarus? Who does make Kid Icarus? Oh, um, what's his name? Oh, 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 um, uh, mm-hmm. Sakurai. Yeah, Sakurai. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, so if they make Kid Icarus. You know what they're not putting out, and you know what that crowd is going to react I mean, like. They kind of need to hang it up already because he already said he's done. <laughs> Pretty yeah, much. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what Kojima and... used to say about Metal Gear Solid, but he just keep coming back. <laughs> but yeah, not so... a new one. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's been, and if I'm looking at this right, 
it has been 12 years yes, since so. we have seen yeah. Kid Icarus on a system. He was on the 3DS last. We ain't talking mm-hmm. about his appearance in Smash. We ain't talking about where he was throwing hands. We talking about where he went on an adventure. It's about time for Pitt to make a return. <laughs> I don't care how you make the story out. It can be as crazy as ever because I've seen what Kid Icarus Uprising was all about. It went off the rails. Crazy. Give us Kid Icarus back. What you doing? Ain't no more Smash. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You trying to make an enemy of half the Nintendo fans, bro. Man, I say, ain't, no more, ain't no more Smash. Ain't no more I Smash, man. I don't give a fuck about them. They don't oh, care they about don't. me. Why should I care about them? My opinion <laughs> don't matter till I step on their game. And I just stepped on it. If you have a problem, bring it to me. Mm. <laughs> mm. You have a bunch Got of it. people with fucked up haircuts. Coming at you, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, uh, <laughs> Rakeem. All I gotta do is <laughs> point a razor and some shaving cream at them. They'll run and a stick of deodorant. I was gonna say, just throw a stick of deodorant at them. <laughs> I uh, already Rakeem, know Rakeem, I, so. I stepped on your toes last time, so you get the second one. Uh, what what, what you got for us, bro? Um, I'm not, maybe not this, not necessarily what you think, Devin. Um, for my second one, um, I'm I'm sticking with the money makers. It's about time for the next Mario Kart. Yes, let's sir. stop playing. Yes, with it. yes. Let's Thank stop Mario playing. Kart 9. Thank you. They didn't. They didn't <laughs> milk it. They time. So they couldn't milk it no more. And I know that shit can't last forever. I know that it, it can't be as good as it used to be. It's time Pass for on. Mario Kart 9. <laughs> Pass on. Um, I would love for like the next Mario Kart game to kind of like maybe have some newer characters. Maybe have like some some, some special guests we wouldn't expect, like a fucking Xenoblade character shows up in Mario Kart. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> What if um, Link like, or uh, some of the other like Nintendo franchise characters? How would you feel? I'll be fine with that. Link's fine eight, eight, is already it? Link's eight. Yeah. Is he eight? I think yeah, he's like eight. They, they stuck okay. like a bunch of those characters. I think in eight, like eight essentially Keep started going. to turn into Smash Kart, <laughs> Nintendo yeah. Kart. Yeah, yeah, Nintendo, yeah, Nintendo Kart. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, yeah, but like make, make that the game, N- N- Nintendo Kart, <laughs> Smash Kart. Um, but yeah, that, Boy, I, I think they a new mar- they pay I think again. I, I think a new Mario Kart would be kind of would be dope. I mean, that front, I mean Mario Kart is basically like a guarantee. Like people will always love it. Um, I maybe some new features I like to see. Create your own like ramps and stuff. I don't know if that was an eight. Maybe they added that later. Like creating your own stages or something like that. And everything maybe, by the end. Uh, maybe add a detailed, cool like little story mode to it. Um, and maybe like some new designs for like how the upgrades and, and powers work and the stage design of uh like the verticality of it and lower like. There's been like a lot of advances in how people do stages in racing kart style games. So I think that can, in the time between eight and now, there could be more advancement on Nintendo's end and how Mario Kart operates. But at the end of the day, it's going to make them a lot of money. So I don't see any reason it, it shouldn't be ready for the launch of Switch 2. It's, it's been long enough. I agree. Um, I would be shocked if Mario Kart 9 is not a launch year project. I don't know when. Um, I feel like you could make bank because like i feel like 3d mario probably should be a launch title i think you could get away with mario kart 9 maybe being november i could see it being a holiday black game. friday yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and it because like it's not gonna be zelda it's not gonna be 3d zelda now there i will say this there will be a zelda game because nintendo's been pretty good about putting out a zelda game every year Oh yeah, and yeah, so yeah. there will probably be a Zelda game, but it won't be Zelda as like their big holiday game. Yeah, and if they need a holiday game, Mario Kart Nine is not a bad option at all. Yeah, it's Man, not that, bad. That's at a all. great option. True. Eight was racking up, so I, I would not be surprised. So yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Devin, round two, bro. What you got for us, man? Man, uh, there's so many I want to pick from, but. I was actually uh, listening to a podcast and they mentioned this and I was like, you know what? Why have they not done this? Earthbound, like, can like, I feel like it's 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 time. Bring re, re, like we gotta. They gotta, gotta give us Earthbound. brother three at some point. I was say, <laughs> nah, it first. They, 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 we gotta bring the game into the new age, man. Because I like people made a good point. It's like, man, people like a lot of people don't even know what Lucas and Ness are from. Like, what these two little big headed kids? PK Fire, PK like. Where are they from? Is like, <laughs> I, I think that would, to me, honest, I think that would be because I, I wanted to say a Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles type game, like an RPG on a Nintendo console, but I was like, mm-hmm. I, I think something like Earthbound is still in the RPG realm that could work. 
Um, it's just been such a long time. It's like, man, just just go ahead and do something else with the game, man. Just re- reboot it or something. Like, just bring it back out. Um, it's just all. It's like it seems like some titles that are like are really popular. They're like did really well and critically acclaimed people want and you know just like nah i don't really feel like it nah i don't really feel <laughs> like it and he hit the spongebob it's like man just make the game man like you putting fifty thousand characters in smash make some more games man take some of them yeah. char- some of them characters that you got in the game they hadn't been in their own game like you talk about kid Icarus. they ain't been in their own game in forever yeah we got well we got to see where shika sato itoi is at right now we got to see where they at about uh, Earthbound. That's the thing. I think Itoi was done with Mother, like as a franchise. I yeah, he, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we got to see where where, where he Itoi basically is had done that. everything he was going to do with that franchise. Now, what you could ask him to do is make a new IP. I don't know how he'd feel about that, but like you can yeah. ask him to do like a brand new, uh, and you'd probably get something that's not Earthbound, but kind of like or like a spiritual successor to Earthbound. And I, yeah. I think that would be okay because like Nintendo does. I agree with what Devin said. Like it's kind of a travesty that you have so many characters in here that are supposed to be part of other franchises but their franchises haven't been yep. seen in so long oh, that it's people that probably play smash and think that those characters come from smash and it's like no ice climbers the, 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 the morgan effect <laughs> morgan from uh, <laughs> marvel versus capcom oh, <laughs> ice boy, climbers boy. there's definitely some people that probably that don't too, know what dark that darkness too, is Devin. bro yeah. captain Cactus. commando some people <laughs> yeah, he definitely Captain Commando. People didn't know the fuck they came from. A lot of people think Captain Falcon. Oh, he's just a Smash character. No, he is a he is a racist. zero. He racist. He got a gun. Sad. This man is all anime. God, and he man. doesn't use like <laughs> why does not use a gun? <laughs> Terrence, what you got for us, man? What's your second pick? So, all these games you all been picking, they're great. And I mean, in a dream lineup, you know, it'd be awesome if all this happens. But I'm a bring us back down to earth a little bit and be a bit more realistic with this uh pick. Okay. So as we all know, each Nintendo console pretty much ever since the Wii has some gimmick to it. Now, we obviously uh, don't know yeah. what kind of gimmick the Switch 2 is going to have if it has a gimmick at all. 5 you know? 6 Switch. <laughs> Switcheroo. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm going for. I think that we're going to get some kind of gimmick game based on whatever the gimmick of the Switch 2 is. So you know, for the Wii U, you had Nintendo Land. For the Wii, you had Wii Sports. For the Switch, you had mm-hmm. 1-2 Switch. So whatever gimmick the Switch 2 has, that's they're going to have a game focused around that, probably as like a package deal kind of thing. So that's what I think is going to be part of the launch lineup is some kind of gimmick game that's either included in the console itself, more likely being included, but that'll be considered part of the launch lineup is a game like that so yeah i think that that's going to be a staple that's a good choice that's a good choice uh it may not have us eating sandwiches again <laughs> <laughs> i mean in, in five six switch you might you know because they five, put out three four switch, switch. <laughs> no i'm thinking they, 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 they released three four switch didn't they, did they like one two switch? switch came out and i i think they did let me see yeah i mean you might not you might be right i don't know <laughs> Was it was it that they released it or they wanted to release it? Let me see. Bro, I typed I typed in three four nope. switch. This is that shit. Everybody one two switch. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Everybody one two switch. Out here milking cows and doing all kinds of stuff. Man, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What you're describing is, on that shit is awful. Funny enough, like another game that I think could it could in some way be a uh, a launch title but i'll keep it to myself <laughs> what uh, warrior wear is I mean, it what you talking about I mean, we actually just had a warrior wear didn't we yeah i think we did yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we did just have a, a recent warrior wear yeah all right uh once again picture the switch voice protect the remnants of humanity this is the one that i think actually we will get um, or I, I really hope we get it. We're going to get something from this studio, one thousand percent. Xenoblade X Return to Mira. Mm-hmm. That would be the tie subtitle for it. This is basically Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition, but it would be with some twists. It would be expanded. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get some more voice acting to some key side quests. You redesign yeah. the character models to bring them in line with like Xenoblade Two and Three because those character models were fucking hideous on the Wii U. And mm. one, two, and th- Xenoblade one, two, three all had 
pretty similar art styles, and they they even changed the art style of Xenoblade One to bring it in line with Two. So I, I think you can do that. Uh, my personal uh, pref- I I think actually if there is a Xenoblade Chronicles X uh, definitive edition, they will one thousand percent redesign the character models because they did it for mm-hmm. Xenoblade Chronicles uh, One. Sure did. Uh, they, what they I would like to that. see yeah. personally is more mecha, more armor, more weapons. Just expand that part of the game. Uh, give us a, a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Some better quality of life features. And my brain, I haven't played that game in a very long time, almost a decade now, because I played it in like 2016. Uh, mm-hmm. But like, there were some definitely some quality of life issues that made me go, this is an 8 that I love like a 10, as opposed to just being a 10. Mm-hmm. And so I think they need to like round off some of the edges a little bit uh but the big thing that they need to do if they're going to do that game is to add more story uh the original game ended on a cliffhanger and there is no guarantee that the new game would do well enough to get a sequel yeah xenoblade 2 did better than xenoblade 1 xenoblade 3 actually i think is in the same range and so that the franchise itself unfortunately may have plateaued uh but Mm. the point is there's no guarantee the new game would do well enough to get a sequel. So instead I would rather you just rework it. Maybe you give it a satisfying epilogue or maybe you add some additional DLC through an expansion to finish the story off. But I, that's what I would want to see. Like, Hey man, let's just go ahead and finish this game up. And and the thing is, if I remember correctly, Xenoblade three with its DLC, with its expansion, uh, future redeemed, maybe. It's weird because Xenoblade 1 had a weird uh, future something something expansion. And so I get the two names confused. But like mm-hmm. that one kind of hinted at some Xenoblade Chronicles X stuff. Like they knew that they needed to wrap that up. And so I hope that that's what we get. Um, 1000%, it is time for a for Monolith Soft to come back. Like it, it, they, we haven't seen them yeah. since 2022, I believe. And mm-hmm. so 2023, they were silent. 2024, they were silent. Quiet, quiet is kept despite making these massive fucking worlds. Monolith Soft has not been uh kept down by like oh the, the increasing development time and all that. They put out Xenoblade Chronicles 2 with the Switch launch, they put out yep. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 remastered, and that one was like they rebuilt that bitch from the ground up. They gave DLC like massive expansions to both games, then put out Xenoblade Chronicles 3 uh just like two th- two years ago, and two that ago. got an expansion. So, like, they were working. They put in the work. And so, like, I would not be surprised to see them once again because they were a launch title for a launch year game for the Switch last year. I mean, for the Switch at the start of its life cycle. I think they came in December, I believe, for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And so, like, I could see them pulling in December or maybe uh, September or something like that uh, because it's been so long that it wouldn't feel like – because, like, it felt like a rush when they were like, oh, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X – uh, had just come out in 2015, like Christmas 2015, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is coming too," and people were like, "What? Like, didn't y'all just put this out?" So, I would like to see them come back and, and see what they can do with that. Um, so we do have a little bit of extra time, a lot of extra time to be honest with you. So now I kind of want to know what else y'all got on y'all list. Uh, Rakeem, what you got for us, man? Okay, first off, I want to say uh, I had Xenoblade Chronicles X uh, remaster on my list as well because it made perfect sense or a new project by Monolith Soft. Mm. So for the rest of my um, list, a um, uh, new Pokemon project would be nice to have. They got that, though. Uh, what is it? Which one? Coming next year? Uh, Pokemon Legends Z to A or something like that? I think. I oh, yeah, the one that they announced. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just oh, want to make I, sure I wasn't tripping. Okay, I forgot about that announcement. You're right. Yeah. Now, um, that could be a cross-gen project, because they didn't say that anything. Would, they just said it was like next year. Yeah, so I had Pokemon on, on my project, some a new Pokemon game of some sort. Um, um, A new Kirby game would be a, a nice uh, mm. addition to the launch lineup, if possible. Maybe one that has oh, like a, uh, some new mechanics. And a, Kirby kind of keeps it classic, Um, still looks like kind of well, nice. Actually, they had It'd a kind of nice. game what two years two years ago, ago? Year? Yeah. yeah and it was like an open mm-hmm. world uh yeah, it Kirby, was weird because it was like Automata. a post apocalyptic world it's like yeah why are you in this post apocalyptic world Kirby but you know hey it's Kirby and universe dark <laughs> well to be fair yeah his universe is kind of, yeah it is kind of dark 
Oh, shit, uh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah the Kirby universe is kind of crazy. Like it's kind of crazy. Pink puff ball, and you just like, oh, he's so cute. And then you see what he go through, and you just like, this what you deal with? Oh, I, <laughs> I mean, Kirby you see how his powers work. Uh, but yeah, new Kirby, a new Kirby project would always be good. It's like Kirby is one of those franchises that's been consistently still like do, does well when it comes out. Oh yeah, um, it's like one of those franchises that wouldn't die like the other franchises did. Like, no, we still here, buddy. Uh, so I, I'd like to see a new Kirby project. Um, this was one that's a, a super flash in the pan. It would be really cool. Um, I know Sakurai is done with the Smash as, in general, but if another team on the side could do a Smash Melee remake of some sort, seeing Man. a Smash Melee remake Man. with online, um, that would Miyamoto be like... Would, you know that meme where the dudes, everybody be suggesting ideas, and then one person suggests a reasonable idea, and he get thrown out the fucking window? <laughs> the first developer to be like, what if we remade Smash Melee? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my god. Get out. <laughs> I, I have always... Joke. I have always felt like Smash and Nintendo, because of the competitive scene, have had like this weird tension. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, and like stuff, stuff is just going wrong with that. A Smash Melee remake would be like a nice nod for Nintendo. Be like, all right, we know this contention of the fan base is really passionate about this game. It's been out for over 20 years and it's still playing consistently. What if we brought a remade version that kept the mechanics that you guys enjoy with updated graphics and better online play than the previous mm. generation and make it more accessible to you guys on a modern console? That alone would be a big fucking deal. They're going to take um, the wave dashing out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, they take that out. The shit they that everybody get... loved about it, they're going to take that shit out. Huh? Now when I hungry uh, box at the office. Well, well, they, if they took that out, then yeah, fuck my whole idea because there ain't no point in doing that point. <laughs> Them boys like that, like that wave dash. Uh, but that was just like a cool pipe dream I had, like just a, a Smash Melee remake of some sort. Because if Smash is done, done, maybe just a remake of, of, of the most popular game in the franchise previously, before Ultimate, of course. Um, Man, Ultimate made be cool. too much money. Sakurai, I don't believe that he's done. I think he's going to wind up like uh, like Kojima. Just as long as they'll have him, he'll come back and find a way to do something with it. I, mm -hmm. I am curious to see what Smash does going forward. Because, I mean, yeah. you did every character. Like, that roster. You made all the, the dreams biggest... come true. Yeah. yeah. How do you yeah. top that? <laughs> you, know, yeah, like, well, it, you know who it, it, you know who the internet wants, right? Master Kendrick. Chief? <laughs> Kendrick. I mean, that, that, that was Kendrick a thing that people wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chief. <laughs> Master oh, Chief is not. You think in video games, you need to think somewhere else. Move it. <laughs> Kendrick. Keanu Reeves? You nah, say Kendrick Devin. <laughs> I don't know why Kendrick keeps coming up. He really liked it. <laughs> yeah, Hi, guys. Like I, heard, I heard everybody like, likes the battle here. <laughs> they, hmm. they, the internet want Goku. Man. Oh, that. oh yeah. Man. Man. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they I feel do the same way, Terry. Like, eh. like, let's just keep this video games. Like, it don't need to be. It don't movie. need to be. Look, you know what? If you want to do that, um, the argument gonna be like, we got he got hella video games. Uh, bring back yeah. um shit. What's the series um that uh, Jump All Stars? Yeah. Bring bring that yeah. back. The yeah. real Jump one. The <laughs> Jump All Stars yeah. would be. Cool. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Don't don't Not bring back stars. No ones. Yeah. Not yes. Jump Fours. Jump no, ultimate exactly stars and jump yeah. superstars. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Bring that back. That'd be cool. Especially um, with the new stuff we got out too. You That'd know what likely nice happen? He'd probably just make a new maybe make a new IP, maybe in the vein of Smash, but change it a little bit. Like a new type of fighting game. I don't if know. If we, we got it, it'd be Smash. But what I think was going to happen, and, and this is going to make people very upset, is that they rebuild Smash from the ground up and the roster's much smaller. And it that. might be a roster that kind of resembles OG Smash, and then you uh, can expand uh, it a little bit with some crossovers, but it's not seventy fucking characters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and my last, my last one. So I'll be, I'll be done with my lightning round. Um, I felt like like Fire Emblem was on a positive trajectory, and the most recent one was the first Damn one it. where people kind of kind of faltered. To, <laughs> um, maybe. I'm not going to say a new Fire Emblem game. What I'm going to say is it'd be nice to have like a cool Fire Emblem collection, like a collection of like the old Fire Emblem games from previous years. 
Nintendo and uh, not just kind of way to kind of <laughs> keep the classic version of that franchise in the backhand while they work on the new game. Because it seemed like this most recent Fire Emblem was the, the one where kind of people were kind of iffy yeah. on for the first time in a long time, personally. So, uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, yes, I will true. say this, though. One, uh, not only, it, like, they're in danger now because, like, Engage wasn't engaged with the fans. Um, right. Because you had it, it, it was it. the franchise was on it up like an sure upward was. climb. It was like Awakening was a hit. Sure did. Fate was a bigger hit. And Three mm-hmm. Houses three house was a was monster huge. hit. Three Houses monster. built the house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> three Houses was like, oh, yeah, this is nice around here. Like, let me show y'all what, what can really be done with this. And they need to come back to Three Houses level stuff because Engage was not it. But yeah. uh, as far as collections go, I think that would be cool because there are some titles that they could stand to collect. But what they've been doing lately is remaking. And so mm-hmm. this will be this was part of my lightning round. Uh Fire Emblem 4, the remake. Ooh. Like mm-hmm. that's been the one. Uh that's one of my favorite video games ever. I played it back in the when I was right out of high school. And it was just a really addicting game. Uh Three Houses felt like it was trying to do something in that vein because it does have some some ideas that are similar and kind of in the same way that like Resident Evil Village felt like it was making way for Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, Three mm. Houses feels like it was making way for Fire Emblem 4 uh, Genealogy of the Holy War, which is not what they're going to call it when they bring it out over here because I've heard uh, certain creators be like, mm-hmm. I, I, we hate that translation. So they'll probably call it something else. But like, it's about time. Um, I could easily see them remaking that because Engage was last year, right? Yeah, yeah Engage was last year. And that wasn't theirs like that. That was like, I don't think that was the main team that made that. And so I could easily see them putting out uh, really? Fire Emblem 4. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's a big, that makes a lot of sense now. Not mm-hmm. a, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so like Fire Emblem 4 being a launch year title would be huge. Um, It's about like, cause they, they put out one, like what, every two, three years, something like that. I'm, I'm, Sounds like I'm, every I'm three, look, four I'm, years. I'm, I'm looking at um their listing of the whatever release list of the games. If we talking about like as of recent, like within like the last ten or twelve years, then it's yeah. been about like almost every two two and a half years they put one out, a main right. one at least, alongside yeah, so some we, of those spinoffs in there. We about do um yeah because Fates and then Tokyo Mirage we're not gonna count that, and yeah. then Echoes Shadows of Valentia which was a remake of two I believe which I have over here <laughs> yeah. And then Three Houses came out two years later, and then there was mm-hmm. a big gap as they basically remade uh, TMS. They remade TMS uh, Fire Emblem, right. and then they, they put out Fire Emblem Warriors, which was effectively just a sequel to Three Houses, and then they put out Engage. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're probably still about due um, for a new one, just depending, especially if I'm right, because I'm not entirely sure about the engaged thing not being the main team but i'm pretty sure about it and if it's not the main team what was the main team working on and so yeah it's a good Man, question i'm reading it i'm reading about who was developing it and i see there's a group number two <laughs> in here in in the writing and i'm just like oh so if that ain't the group that's been working on the previous ones then i wonder what the main group been doing sound like a dark souls 2 situation oh yeah oh mm. man oh, and that, it yeah. always sucks because people can always tell when it's not the OG tell. squad, and they'll be like, "Oh man, this game was trash." Some like, off. Yeah, it looked like it looked like the game you love, but don't taste. But right. it don't play it like don't the game. Taste the same. <laughs> it don't taste right, bro. Who Terrence, you got any in your lightning round? So a lot of the ones um, you all already talked about or picked, uh, mainline 3D Mario. Like I think, if that's not a launch title, then yeah, it'd be a launch window type of game or like a holiday game, something to move the console after it's come out. Yeah, Star Fox, I agree with that one. Even Xenoblade Chronicles X Remake, I agree with that. I think that that's a good yeah, choice. Just makes um, sense. Yeah. I think <laughs> my answer isn't going to be as interesting, but I feel like it's probably, you know, just a realistic one. Just based on, like, the actual Nintendo launch lineups of past, I think that there will be some kind of Just Dance or singing game there. Like, you got to have your gimmick games. Oh, it. Know. It just is what it is. Like I, I looked at the past Nintendo launch lineups, and to be honest, it'd be I think we'd get maybe two of the big games that we've talked about. I don't think we're gonna get like a lot of the big things that we uh discussed. I think the launch lineup might be a bit more tame than we think it would be. 
But so what I remember, um, and I'm trying to go for memory here. Mario, uh, I, no, no, no. Uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, what was it called? Breath of the Wild. Are we talking for the Switch? Yeah, launch lineup. Yeah, uh, arms. Can... One, two, up. Switch. Uh, Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, Splatoon Two, Xenoblade Chronicles, Mario Odyssey, and there's like one or two games, maybe Pokemon or something like that that I'm missing because mm-hmm. they had a game every month. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say you talk. Are we talking like on on light like launch day or just the window? On day one or, or launch just year. The window? Oh, launch, launch year. year. Okay. Oh, okay. We're talking year, launch okay. year. Then yeah, okay. Well, that's that's okay. different. Then. Okay. Yeah, what you're talking about makes sense. And the, uh, the ones you uh, listed definitely make sense. I've seen. That yeah. There. Yeah. Now everything that we talked about, I mean, that could it'd be great if that was like launch year or launch year and a half or something like that. That'd be cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like a you know like a. A sing- some of those gimmick games have got to be on there at some point. Like I know for the Switch they had like Skylanders, but I mean that's not a thing anymore. Um, yeah, man, that no, just that, died. That done and done. That done, and done. I w- what I would no, like to bad. see is if there is some kind of gimmick to the Switch Switch Two, which I pro I feel like there won't be some big gimmick kind of like how the Switch. Even though you have the gimmick, like really the gimmick with the Switch is just being able to switch from like portable to the TV. And so I feel like the Switch 2 will be along those same lines, um, however they, you know, altered in some way. There's not going to be, like, some big gimmick kind of like the Wii where it's like you're using the nunchucks and everything or even the Wii U where it has, like, a <laughs> tablet. So I don't think there's going to be something like that. But if there is, there could be, like, a game dedicated around that kind of gimmick. Um, kind of like how with the <laughs> Wii there was Red Steel, so Ooh, I think that maybe yeah, there could oh, yeah. be some kind of third party developed gimmick game or like a tech showcase to yeah. show what the gimmick is about and how it can be used in future titles by other developers kind of thing. So that's what I think It's like, you know, yeah, you're you're just dance or you're singing games, you're your third parties stuff is going to be say there. This. Uh, <laughs> What's just up? dance was not at Ubisoft showcase last year, this year. But it sure was wasn't. at Nintendo Switch. At Nintendo. Like that, <laughs> that was what we saw. It. So yeah. they have a close partnership. They've kind of accepted this is where we should market our game because that's the the quote unquote casual audience. That's yeah. where the biggest casual audience is going to be. <clears throat> yeah. Um, right. But yeah, that, that's so pretty I, much it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I found Nintendo Switch's first party lineup for 2017. Mm-hmm. Man, I I really had that nigga. Uh, <laughs> Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, One Two Absolutely. Switch. And snipper clips, which I forgot about. Yeah, bro, I forgot all about that game. Wow. Yeah, yeah, because it was another gimmick game, just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, but yeah, Arms was it in launch lineup? It was like launch was window launch ish or something. It was like launch that. window. Yeah. So March okay. was those three games that I just said. April was Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. June yep. was Arms. July was Splatoon Two. August mm-hmm. was Flip Wars, which I don't remember, but it was third party. Uh. September, I was right. Pokin, Pokin uh, okay. tournament DX. I remember Pokin. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. October was Super Mario Odyssey and Fire Emblem Warriors, which I had forgotten. And then December was Xenoblade Chronicles. X, uh, was Xenoblade Chronicles two. And then I guess yeah. if you want to count it in February, they had Bayonetta one and two uh, come to the Switch. So true. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but I mean, like that's when you look at it: Zelda, Mario Kart eight, Splatoon two. Pokemon, Mario Odyssey, and Xenoblade Chronicles, that's a lot. That's yeah. not a bad launch year. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking launch year, then I mean, yeah, that's a totally different story than like launch oh, yeah, day I mean, kind like, of thing. My, my idea was not launch lineup. Like, it was launch year lineup. Oh, well, I, I, I didn't get the memo yeah. on that distinction. <laughs> that's my fault. I'm sorry. It's I thought we were strictly it. talking just launch talk. lineup. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if it was launch lineup, I wouldn't even... Pre- like, I don't think either of my games would be launch lineup. Like, Star Fox... If they do it, will come later in the year. And Xenoblade Chronicles, I could see because like they don't really have; they just kind of bring those out whenever, um, yeah. it, whenever the the, the game is up. done, they be like put it out. Uh, so I don't know. Like, I would think that that's not launch day. I would think it's <clears> later <throat> in the year. It might be launch window. But yeah, like if it if we were just doing launch day and launch window, I would. I would have told you, hey man, uh, rain in your expectations. You're not gonna get <laughs> half the shit you want. 
Yeah, yeah. Now if we're talking also, launch would... year, then yeah, I could see a lot of this yeah. happening. You know, hopefully so. Yeah. Uh, Devin, you got any lightning round stuff for us? Um, so I feel like y'all don't kind of hit most of the stuff. I feel like this, like, kind of realistic for be like launch titles from kind of past stuff, but I'm I'm kind of going more so some stuff that I like, and also just like from like Nintendo's legacy games that they used to have like titles or IPs they used to have, and they just don't really do a lot with anymore. Uh, first mm-hmm. one's Castlevania. Castlevania started as a Nintendo property that was it was on. Original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, 64, DS, and it's, I just feel like they've kind of like lost their way with that one. Um, I mentioned Final mm-hmm. Fantasy Crystal Chronicles earlier. Um, I don't think that necessarily because I don't that wasn't a launch title on a uh, GameCube, I don't believe. Um, could I see maybe somewhere in a launch year, like or somewhere close? I, I probably could. Uh, Torok, I, I think it's time for us to get that the dinosaur hunter back in here. That was uh. <laughs> I think the closest you're gonna get is what they announced at the Switch, uh, the last direct, where yeah, it was just yeah. like, "Hey, here's N- Turok is coming to Nintendo Dur- uh, Switch Online." They yeah, didn't. They didn't say it. Need to go ahead and hey, get it. Get that man some respect, man. Um, I don't know who Star owns Wars. that IP now. <clears throat> ain't that rare? It is used to be rare. I, yeah, I think Turok it changed. Game? It used to be. I think Turok, it changed, like, who, who did that remake back like? Years ago, that the remake that was, was like, like highly forgettable. I don't even want to gear to rock gearbox. I'm not sure, but I don't think that was rare. I don't think no, nah, this was to rock yeah, evolution. No, not no, it was, no, it, it, it was, was, it was on, a remake on a uh, just to rock. It was on it was on PS 360. It, was it, it looked like it looked like it was very Gears of War inspired, like <laughs> visual. propaganda it's games, propaganda games published by Disney. That's yeah, right. Disney That's what it is. Disney. I think what? Disney at one time did own the Turok IP. Yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's still oh. the case, but it, how did that even happen? I think Mac McMuscles <laughs> has a video on that you'd have to watch to see how that unfolds because it is a wild story, Man. I believe. <laughs> we could have got oh, some. Goodness. I ain't gonna lie. We could have got some badass cartoons out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You'd have got Cadillac and Dinosaurs. That's what you'd have got. Cadillac and hey, Dinosaurs. Hey, that's hey, a real cartoon. Bro. Hey. Cadillac and dinosaurs? <laughs> hey. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. That's, that's a nice call. Doesn't yeah. uh, surprise me at all. <laughs> I mean, Capcom made the beat em up too, so I mean, hey. They did make a beat up of Cadillac oh, and dinosaurs. True. Holy fuck, I forgot <laughs> about that. Man. Huh. Um, uh, I was since a Star Wars game. Um, I think Shadows of Empire they, was a launch game for 64. They got a Star Wars game. They got uh, Star Wars Hunters. To my Hunters? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. I played those hunters on the phone. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was smooth. Hey, it played smooth. I ain't gonna lie. I'm playing. I like this smooth. It ain't glitching. I, I, I want like a, I want like a tra- traditional just single player action right. experience. Um, okay. he put it on PC. Yeah, <laughs> they do need what to get on PC. I think it is I on, it's on, on Switch and phones. I believe. Yeah. yeah, it's on phones. It's smooth. It's smooth. Uh, so last few I have. Uh, up again, going back to the legacy of Nintendo, Mega Man. Where's Mega Man? Stop doing Mega Man. Ooh, like that'd be cool. That's a deep cut. You know, Mega Man. The last, one that. Was Mega <laughs> Man. The last one, Mega Man 11. It's like, Mega Man 11, last project. Um, that was well received, though. Yeah, it yeah, was well received. Yeah, well received. Yeah, it was really good, yeah. Uh, man, some Turtles, man. Like, Turtles, that was a Nintendo legacy game. He had the fighting game. He had the <laughs> beat him up. He had the that hard side scroll on the NES. I just feel like Never you tend seen... to get a Turtles game like every two to three years, but it's always like a lower budget title. I, exactly. Here's I'm a Turtles about, game yeah. on the way. It's like a roguelike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the last. And then the. Uh, you said you turned the me last off. Ronin. Nah. And then the last Ronin <laughs> game. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna yeah. be good. <laughs> it's made by. It's like a triple A game made by some studio we ain't never heard of. That shit ain't gonna be good. Fair enough. Okay, uh, fair unfortunately, enough. Also, unfortunately, also with that roguelike, I looked into it. That roguelike is a port of a mobile game that came out like in another, like a long time ago. So Super I can't lost. even like. <laughs> damn, they really yeah. trying to. Uh, they really trying to hold the yeah, titles I, on that one. Yeah, I looked that game up. I was like, this is this is a port. You can't fool me. Oh, this. I will say this: <laughs> the one game I'm not. I'm like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Look, Switch is their best platform. 
But I think Square has put that behind them. The days of like yeah. third party partnerships where they're just like, hey, this is an exclusive just for you. Oh, I think and hope year. that they put that oh, behind that is, them. That, that is over. over. That's but it would be this. fun to see. Yeah. Um, what's the name of that game? I mean, did they put they ported Chris Chronicles to other uh, platforms now, right? They did, yeah. Uh, yeah it's Chris Chronicles is on, on the PlayStation, yeah. It's on PlayStation. Yeah. It would be cool to have a uh, World of Final Fantasy make a return. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. That, yeah, yeah. That that, yeah. that would be yeah. great yeah. for the yeah. Switch. Yeah. That'd be a Super great idea. Great. Look, cartoony yeah. uh, RPG is still fun. It's like a, a good RPG, but it's like beginner friendly too. That yep. would be cool. Yeah. And it celebrates the entire franchise. So you see characters from the entire franchise. Yeah. Summons from the mm-hmm. whole franchise. And you, you yep. kind of get the best of both worlds. I still, my, my ideal Final Fantasy game one day is fan, a side spinoff game is like a Decidia RPG where your cast members are just people from Final Fantasy all over. Yeah. Put in one yeah, game. That'd be mm-hmm. That'd that would be, awesome. be incredible. Yes. Super awesome. Yeah. You want Final Fantasy uh, Endgame, huh? <laughs> no, Fantasy Endgame. <laughs> well, Final Fantasy Trails is what he want. <laughs> Throw them all in the same game. That's good. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> That's going to be your reaction. Like, shit. <laughs> I mean, people would buy it if it was like just Final Fantasy characters just all together, like basically the other half of Kingdom Hearts. Man. Oh, um, nice. Facts. For mine, I'm gonna guess uh, we get a sequel to Arms. We get legs. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that joke in a while. <laughs> I know, right? Arms, I said to bring out that be... old fucking core ball joke. Arms it's two cool. would not surprise me. Yeah, I can see them doing that again. Yeah, I, I can definitely see them too. doing arms. Too. I want hands. That's what <laughs> I want. I want it to just be. <laughs> oh, hey. Boy, if Nintendo hey. really knew that joke, I, if they could get like localization to just put that out, like yeah, it's coming out. Hands. You're like, oh, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> um, I want to say Yoshi because it's been Ooh, a while since we had a yeah, Yoshi. Yeah, what was it, like Epic Yarn? I was the definitely last forgot one? about that. I forgot I think about Epic Yoshi Yarn. It was either games. Epic Yarn or Crafted World. I forget because they were doing some weird Crafted things with world. like how the world was built and designed and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll say this though the thing is, a lot of times Nintendo's very deliberate. And they don't like mm-hmm. putting out the spinoffs in the same year that they're putting out the mainline stuff. They do and not. And so, like, they when don't. you have a Mario, a 3D Mario, you're probably not going to get uh, Luigi's Mansion or Princess mm. Peach or yeah. Yoshi or whatever. So I don't think that would be in a launch year. Platoon 4 might be, though. Feels mm-hmm. like it's been a, it's about that time. Uh, well, actually, no. Splatoon 3, when did that come out? It's been at least two years, right? Two years. No, nah, they gonna sit on that for a little while longer. What they might do though is give it a Splatoon three exp- uh, expansion, uh, splat, yeah, uh, explosion or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some type of of ma- like because that's what they did for the Switch. They would re- like repackage some games, add some content, yeah. upgrade the graphics a little bit. Yeah, best uh, believe that's, that's you- gonna happen. Like a lot of those like ladder Switch games are gonna get like repackaged with DLC, spruced up a little bit for the Switch too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah, I, I can see that. So I, I think Splatoon uh three extra or something like some little pun uh paint based pun at mm-hmm. the end of it. Yeah. I think that would be a good choice for them. Um I would love to have uh, what was the other game that I thought I really wanted to see? Because I'm looking, I'm because first off, we covered a lot of games. We did. I <laughs> like, I agree with Terrence. There's gonna be some wacky ass games that kind of show you what yeah. could be done with the with the the different. There's definitely gimmicks. gonna. There's probably gonna be a new IP as well in that release year. That's a good Something point too. You, yeah, you hope you know. right? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Although usually at least one. Looking at the oh, Arms was the new IP. Was Arms was new epi. I don't think they'll explore fighting games because, man, man, actually, they put a couple fighters on this because they had Arms yep. and Pokemon and in the same Pokemon game. too. Yep. Well, it wasn't uh, a sequel. Pokemon one. I'm sorry, Pokemon. Uh, yeah, they. Ex- we're we're going to get a Nintendo Souls like. Oh God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like I like Souls like. I'm like nah. Now they get another crab's tail. I looked at that one. That would fit because it's like a platformer too. <laughs> that would be cool. yeah. cute. That, that would shit would work. That would I'd work. With that. Yeah. Uh, that but work. yeah, I don't know. Like, I think Fire Emblem pro- is not a bad guess. I think uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is not a bad guess. Um, other than that, as far as mine go, Star Fox, I think, is a distant wish. 
I think Nintendo doesn't see Star Fox and they don't see F-Zero the way that they should. I think Man, they I tried to do. fold F-Zero into Mario Kart. And so that's why you have the the super fast carts sometimes and like the anti-gravity type shit. They were like, mm-hmm. hey, man, you know, we're not going to do anything with, with F-Zero, even though that's a vast in, uh, in a vast and fascinating universe that they could take advantage of. And Star Fox, I don't know. I think that's Miyamoto just holding that franchise down because he's just always asking for like some silly ass gimmicks. And what really people really want is just spend more time with those characters. And it mm-hmm. doesn't you can add gimmicks, the gimmicks well, not gimmicks, but like you can add new concepts to the franchise and the, the new concepts are important. But, like, it shouldn't be foundational, like, oh, everything's built around this one silly ass, because, you know, Nintendo loves the silly ass gimmicks. Everything's built around this one silly ass gimmick. Like, people don't care. They just want, like, a a modern Star Fox game where you can fly around and do cool shit, do cool flight tricks and fight against Venom or fight on Venom against Andros and Star Wolf and all that shit. That's all they want. And, like, I would love to see that, but I think Nintendo knows. Nintendo's just not focused on that. I think if you got that, it'd be like after Miyamoto, like quit or something like that. Uh, Will, what you got for us in the lightning round, bro? Well, King definitely ended up stepping like a nice ways on my toes with that fire emblem pick because I was definitely thinking. <laughs> oh, hell, we was all thinking fire emblem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were all thinking yeah. fire emblem. Yeah, I was like, I was definitely it's one of the bigger that. franchises yeah. now, period. So, yeah, they got this one of the bigger ones. Yeah, I was like, that should be something at least coming. I can't necessarily say if it would be a new game or not, especially after the recession of Engage, like Kim said, because I've seen a lot of people talk about it where they were just like, man, the gameplay is great, but God damn it, who wrote the story? <laughs> so that's, that's what I've seen a lot of about Engage. It's like, who wrote this story? Who wrote these tropes in like this? Who told y'all to put this Isn't out? Isn't that the one where that's you like it, fuse with each other? Uh, fuse with the like old final, uh, old, old, old yeah, Fire Emblem. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. old Fire Emblem characters, yeah. So that's what I've seen a lot of people talk about. Also, the, the main game. characters look like Twitch streamers, and I was like, I don't know. What they look like VT. I remember that yeah. being a joke when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Design yeah. <laughs> yeah, was. was it but looked I can, weird uh, when I first saw it. I was like, ooh, I don't know about this yeah, design. The, yeah, the design was a little uh, off there. But uh, I yeah, do after seeing three did. houses design, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was way better. Yeah, but I do agree with Keem in the case of a, a collection of some sort coming out. But my question always remains: like, I see where Sage coming from with a remake of Ford. Genealogy of the Holy War is pretty popular with a lot of people. So I think that should happen. But in the case of you, King, what games do you think will be in the bundle? Are you looking more at the GBA games like uh, the Blazing Blade and things like that? That's what I was thinking. But I, that's the era I played. So you know, that's, that's kind I of like GameCube. Yeah. Uh, GameCube. Uh, what oh, like a Path, called? Uh, Path of Radiance. And, um, Path of Radiance, yep. There was like a duology. There were two of them. There was Path of Radiance form. and the Radiant Dawn? I something like that. Uh, there was a title for him. I forget what the title was like because it, it was like the something duo or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Yeah. Like, uh, Dawn of Rain, Shadow no. Dragon, Shadow oh, Dragon. Okay. Yeah, nope, nope. You're right. You're right. No, 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 no. no. Shadow no, Dragon was the remake no. of one, so it's actually mm-hmm. Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. You're right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my homeboy those... used to have Path of Radiance, he showed us some when we was kids. I hope he still got it because that shit costs $180 to get a copy right now. <sighs> I uh, it. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the collector and me speaking. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't really have too much more I can think of. I think maybe some games from the 3DS may make an appearance, possibly. There could be another 3D re- 3DS remaster or remake popping up, and then there is something else I thought about since we're coming to a new system. And I don't, I don't, I, I know how they're gonna probably do this. I know it's gonna be some years before this happens. Because we know how Nintendo loves to close down shops. So I'm thinking there could be something new with Nintendo Online in general possibly popping up out of this. I'm not very sure. But it's just something that was in my mind. Because I'm like, whenever they put out a new system. Is it just me or did y'all, I was like, did y'all just freeze on me? Oh, no, we, we were just paying attention. <laughs> I mean, very I was intently. listening to you. We were listening <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, but y- y'all did that so well. I thought y'all froze. I, was like, I thought oh. you froze. We waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. I definitely thought he froze. I was like, did Will freeze on us? That's <laughs> all good. Okay, no, but uh, for real, I do think uh, something new with Nintendo Online could be coming up very soon. Maybe there's some new, like, not necessarily a gimmick, but some new feature they're going to add. Or maybe, possibly, some sort of, like, improvement to Nintendo Online, maybe. 
I, like I said, I'm just kind of throwing darts at a wall right now, praying they do something because you know how be, bad their their thing that'd be is. Weird. That'd be oof, boy, it'd been a long time coming. Yeah, so I think they may end up improving Nintendo Online and maybe, maybe possibly upping the price of Nintendo Online, maybe behind getting that improvement. And last but not least, this is gonna be a pipe dream for me. Like it's it's gonna be so far into like 2045 that I don't even know if it's gonna happen or not. But Square Soft Team Asano Bahamut Lagoon remake. Woo! That'd be cold. <laughs> that's that's what I that's what I kind of want because I'm like that game looked dope. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I tell I you, I love me some Bahamut Lagoon, boy. <laughs> I do think what? Nintendo needs to do some type of, and I, I feel like the the end of last year and some of this year they've had a lot of remakes and remasters mm-hmm. and stuff, and I, I think we're we're due for a one one more big remake probably to fill out the Nintendo Switch launch lineup. What's yeah. up, uh, Terrence? Mm, you know what time it is? Uh oh, what time is it? You froze again. Give, give me that Check Golden four. Sun remake. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Hey, that was you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Well, truth be told, I don't know what Camelot does anymore. I think they do like they, they, most, do, they sports do sports games. games. They do Mario yeah, Tennis. So I, I don't think they they be. I don't think they do Golden Sun anymore. Well, we'll, we'll tell King Arthur to get the sword out the stone. It's time to come back to, the, to your throne, baby. It's time to get the round table back together, baby. <laughs> I love it, man. We need that. But yeah, I, I think some of these are, are great guesses. Of course, we had a lot of like wish fulfillment type things. Terrence, again, being surprisingly reasonable, I think it's, that's just been his thing Well, for these predictions lately. Uh, just like, <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to just keep it reasonable <laughs> as opposed to all this pie in the sky nonsense. <laughs> I, I, fortunately, <laughs> I'm in a good spot where like one of the things that is a pie in the sky wish for me is a thing that they're just going to do anyway. Whatever yeah. Monolith Soft got coming, like, I'm sure just, I, I pray to God they fix their fucking fight systems, because those shits drive me up the wall. Like, pick a lane. Either it's action or it's turn-based, but, like, this weird <laughs> MMO middle ground shit, it's, it's not say, getting it, bro. They said it's Xeno-based. That's what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> Be combat beast is what you need. Something that don't feel awful to play, and I don't need to look up a fucking YouTube video to understand how it all works. Oh my! It's very complicated. It's very complicated battle systems. I mean, they, they're complicated games in general because they shove so many systems into them. Uh, you still be—it's like Yakuza. You mm-hmm. still be learning new systems. Four out, forty hours in, you like, man, y'all still got I new can, shit can, to teach me. I can do that. <laughs> They be like, hey man, here's this brand new special move you can do. You like, bro, like you still teaching me some extra shit? Cut That's it out. You told me but yeah, I mean, I, let me ask y'all one last question before we close it out. What's up? March or Christmas or holiday season for the launch? Mm. Uh, some of my heart is telling me March. I think March so I would make the man. most sense. I think, but supposedly um, oh, they. That- they oh, sorry, moved the launch anyway uh, from the holiday season this year. And so I'm oh, wondering, I'm yeah. like, how much would you need to move it? Like, they could easily have just moved it a couple of months, you know, maybe four months, and that would give them enough time to finalize everything they need to mm-hmm. finalize. And then after that, you can just figure it out as you go. So I'm in the, I'm in the range of March. Uh, Devin, where are you at? Um... I mean, I, f- I feel like March still is a, uh, yeah, because I mean they they've shown off the new stuff from this direct, and I feel like like at this point, like I don't think there's anything like you might as well go ahead and gear up for the new system, like so if, if you're gonna if you're gonna miss this holiday season, March that's probably the best bet. I'm not mad at. It. I feel like March is a good bet just because it gives them two holiday seasons mm. effectively. Yeah. Because that's when the true. system first comes out, there will be a lot of fanfare around it. People are gonna swarm. It's gonna sell out. Everybody's gonna want it. And then mm-hmm. if it's March, you get nine months or eight months, and then the next thing you know, you get down to November, and people are again swarming around it. They want to yeah. know what what's out. It's a more mature system. They've got more games for it. And people are like, oh, I want this. Like, you've got whatever, whether it's Super Mario 
or whatever their Mario Kart, whatever they're pairing with it for the holiday. And then you get another bite at the apple for them to be like, okay, well, it's going to sell out all over again. So I think March is a good idea if they can swing it. So we'll see. Yeah. That wraps us up for this week. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like. If you loved it, share it with your friends. For now, we are signing off, and we hope you have an excellent week. Peace.